Here's a relic you don't see too often nowadays. This is a Dell Dimension 4500. Missing its front panel cover. It's got USB and audio in the front. Service tag, express service code. It's missing whatever bezel goes around these drives, which are also not the right cover. Real computers have floppy drives. Let's open this thing up and see what uh, what's inside. I don't know anything about it. I don't even know if it turns on. Oh, this one's well equipped. Dual hard drives and the dual optical drives that you saw before. The fan is not attached. The caps look okay. What else is around here? Um, not too much. Otherwise, looks like it might be possible to get it working. It's got a Pentium 4 and the RAM. It's got two sticks, which are different. So it probably came with, say, 256, and maybe they added a 512. In fact, the farther chip looks like it's single sided. So that's probably the original. So uh, there's a video card actually with DPI, which is kind of interesting. And of course, as video, rounding out the ports, of course, is your PS2 keyboard and mouse, two USBs, serial parallel to more USBs, audio, and an add in Ethernet card. Let me see if I can put this fan in. We'll close it up and see if we can get it to turn on. Actually, before we do, it looks like the power old school Molex running to the video card through what looks like almost like a floppy connector. It's an ATI Radeon card of some kind. Let's see. Well, maybe a noisy fan. But let me see if I can get this fan mounted up. See if we can make it go. In classic style, I have my knackered old service monitor with the dead backlight that I tried fixing six times and it didn't work. I have the power cord plugged into the unit, but I have not tried it until now. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got lights. Noisy video card fan. Uh-oh. You've connected the power extension cable to your video card. Refer to the getting... You have not connected the power extension Okay, and there's clicking hard drives. Oh, this thing is really ill. Holy. Okay, um, clearly the connector is connected. And it must have been working at one point or another, because otherwise that fan wouldn't necessarily be noisy. That's at least a guess. I disconnected the hard drive IDE cables. Still have a clicking drive and still the error, I guess. Damn. Well, let's see which drive is dying here. Hang on a second. That one. Hmm. Yikes. Well, what if we, uh... Let's try yanking that. Hold on. While it's on, I have no shame. I really don't care. It's gonna come out. Same difference. Maybe I'll reseat that. Looks like it's connected. I'll try it. I've reconnected that cable to the hard drive I just disconnected. I'm sure it's not gonna make any difference in this card is shot. Oh, I forgot I unplugged it, too. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. I'd love to just get it to post to see what it is. Uh, I think I broke it. I wiggled the card also, and apparently didn't like that kind. Do that again. All 
All right, this video card's probably shot. Well, here's the video card. It still says ATI Radeon. Solid caps on it, and none of them have vented. I don't like that connector. I don't like how the, see the pins here, where my thumb is? How they wiggle. That's probably not good. Some resistors or diodes there. And the fan itself. Look at all that dust. Let's see if I have a video card laying around. Okay, here's a video card. I don't know what it's out of. What it went to. All I know is it's AGP, which is what this takes. It's made in Korea. It says Vanta. I don't know if that means anything. And I don't see much else. It looks like a really basic video card, but we're just seeing if we get posts here. Let's pop it in. A lot quieter. Oh, video. Yes? Yes. It had a message I couldn't read. System setup. I'm going to guess like a 1.6 to 1.9 gigahertz processor. It rebooted instead of going into... Oh, here. Oh, it's a fast one. 2.26. 533 megahertz front side bus. And 768 mega RAM. Oh, this will run Windows 7 nicely. Damn. So, I'm just going to run through the BIOS here. I'm sure it's got XP on it. I'm going to run through this real quick. Just make sure everything's set the way I need it. And then we'll try booting it up with that hard drive that's still disconnected there. I got the hard drive reconnected. We'll leave the other one disconnected because we know it's no good. And we'll just go for broke and see if it boots. Still couldn't quite read that. Okay, let's check the BIOS. We have a 30 gig drive which is now set as master. Um, let's see if we can read that when it comes up. NVIDIA, I think it said, maybe. And it still doesn't like it. Okay, well, we're going to leave this video card in it, and we'll run some diagnostics on it. Well, what do you know? It was a Western Defective Drive. 40 gigabytes, leaving the 30 gigabyte working. Would have been nice to have the 40 work in that, but uh, whatever. Um, it's got a date of 21 May 2002, so this machine was from around 2002, which makes it at the time of this recording 12 years old. Not bad, not bad. So anyway, this opened. Look how nice this is. Oh, you don't get drives like that anymore. Let's see if this one missing its front thing is going to work. It's got a light. No, you can't pop it. It's jammed out. Probably the belts are slipping on it or something. I'm not concerned about it at the moment anyway. Well, well my memory passed and the hard drive passed as well. So here is that flash drive I had that had Windows 7 on it. We'll see if I can make it boot on this thing. Well, apparently this thing doesn't boot off USB either. So I have to use the disk and make it boot USB. And it says starting Windows. So I'll come back in a few years when this has done something. Well, actually, already it's starting to do something. That was rather quick. That's rather impressive indeed. Wow. On 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 USB? Maybe even USB 1? Holy crap, that's a performer. Oh, I could live with that. Wow, have a diskless system. Look. I'm impressed! That came right up! Let's 
Let's see what Device Mangler says. Remember, this was keyed to that uh, ThinkPad laptop, so... Well, not keyed. I never activated it, I don't think. Well, it's installing something now. CD-ROM spun up. I think it's going to find a whole kind of a lot of stuff here. Now it's running kind of slow. Probably because of the lack of RAM. But I'm amazed it actually ran on that ThinkPad anyway. So, we'll go to Device Mangler. Yep. 2.26 GHz, 768 MB RAM, 32-bit operating system as we know. Because this ain't going to run no 64, I don't think. No, no, this didn't have 64-bit capabilities. So, I will come back when I have some semblance of what the hell device mangler said. Oh, no, it's coming up now. You'll have to wait now. You will just have to wait. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it likes a lot of that. Now, I think it was installing stuff. Where is it? Let's minimize that. Oh, that's all it found. Yipes! I don't like that kind. Oh, I didn't want that. I wanted that. Um, okay, but it will run it. Not necessarily well, but it'll run it. So, I guess what I'll do is I'll burn my 7 installation to a USB and then install 7 that way. What the hell is it doing now? It says not responding. Oh, it's populating devices without telling me. Okay, it found the processor and all that now. Great. <laughs> Alright, I'll come back to this when I figure out... Oh, there he goes, finally. Okay, so we'll wait for that to configure all its devices then. Well, looky there. It installed everything except for the sound and the Ethernet controller. And here is the list, I think it was here, of the devices. No, I'll just minimize that. It's here somewhere. Here it is. So, you got all kinds of ACPI stuff, uh, processor, chipsets, controllers, drives, USB, all kinds of great stuff. So I found all that. So that's pretty cool. And um, it needs to be restarted. It doesn't like drive D, which isn't a real drive for some reason. I don't know what drive it thinks that is. Oh, Drive D is the, the main hard drive in it. It boots as the USB being C. So, okay. So it'll work. Oh, look. This copy of Windows is not genuine. Oh, no. What am I ever going to do? Well, it'll run 7. Um, this drive doesn't eject. Maybe after a paperclip treatment it will. So I guess that could stay. These drives are fugly in here. I don't like it. This is an RW. It's a compact disc and DVD rewriter. So it's actually a DVD burner IDE. Those are pretty rare. You don't find those too much anymore. Well, that's good. That's definitely a score. And I don't know what that thing is. Probably a CD burner, I guess. It had the play built in on it and that. So this won't boot directly USB, so it needs that. But it will run 7. And uh, I don't know. Do I install 7 on it? Maybe? I haven't decided yet. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this one. We brought it from completely dead to functional. Maybe not 100%, but it's getting there. And of course I can actually install the OS on the hard drive for a little bit better performance. Oh, and it is USB 2 on this thing. 
So that makes it a viable player for booting off USB if I ever wanted to go that route and make it diskless. But uh, I don't know. So anyway, it, it, it works now. I don't know what to do with it. So I'll call this one done for now until I figure out if I'm going to install an OS on it or what I'm going to do. Maybe I will and I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'll have to think about it. But it's here. It lives again. Until next time, make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.